Friends, as we continue our time together this morning, we come to a time of notices, and I'd like to commend our notices to your reading. They are found within the description of this video on YouTube and on Facebook, and have been made available via our WhatsApp info groups, as well as a separate video that has been sent and disseminated on both YouTube, Facebook, and on our WhatsApp info groups as well. Friends, as we gather today, we celebrate National Women's Day and we remember that on the 9th of August, 1956, approximately 20,000 women marched in the streets of Pretoria to the Union buildings in petition of the discriminatory and segregatory past laws of that time. And we take their example of standing up against segregation and discrimination. I'd like to encourage us today wherever we find ourselves on this public holiday in South Africa, uh, today as well as tomorrow, because today is a public holiday on a Sunday, tomorrow public holiday, to spend time not just relaxing, but, but reminiscing and searching ourselves, reflecting on our lives, our families, our communities at this time, to search ourselves for any discriminatory thinking, actions, any, any laws in our country or in our communities that are segregatory or discriminatory towards people based on their skin color, their race, their ethnicity, their gender, their sexuality, whatever discriminatory practices exist. Perhaps we need to, to come and search our hearts and, and see what discriminatory thinking we have and how we live that out in the world around us at this time and come before God and repent. Ask God's forgiveness, God's guiding, and God's directing as we seek to, to repent of those ways. Perhaps there are things in our community that we need to speak up against, as those 20,000 women did uh, in, on the 9th of August, 1956, so that we can stand against the injustices that we see perpetuated so vagrantly and violently in the community against women, particularly for gender-based violence and systemic violence, as well as children and youth and other forms of discrimination that have played themselves out recently in the news and around the world. So friends, I invite you into a space of just reflecting on that today and on tomorrow as we say have the public holiday as well tomorrow. Back to our notices, just a reminder to read through them. There are two I'd like to highlight. Firstly, a big thank you to those who've responded to the appeal made last week for, for non-perishable foodstuffs. Thank you to those who've responded. We have had an influx in goods, uh, an increase in the, in the giving of goods into our church sites. I'd like to encourage you to give and continue to give. The, the need is there and to continue to give towards that generously as you are able. Uh, just a, a way of logistics. If you could contact Pastor Stephen Rudling, if you're from the Princess Society, so that we can have the goods collected at that site. Uh, or alternatively, if you're from the Nuetevel Krugersdorp Societies, if you would have them dropped off at the Nuetevel Society. It's a lot more convenient and easier for us to assemble the goods there and then dist distribute them between the two sites. If you're from any other society within the Mahale Circuit, please do contact your minister for guidance and direction on a way forward in terms of, of well, dropping those goods off at our church so that we can become distribution sites for food parcels to our community at this time. A big thank you to those who've given so generously and I look forward to, to the continued support as we, we seek to help those who are in need at this time. The second is just a reminder that for the month of August, this being the second Sunday out of five for the month of August, that we will be meeting via our online electronic meets and we will not be having any in-person services at any of our sites in the Mahale circuit for the foreseeable future. Obviously, we have COVID-19 and regulations and stipulations around that. And we're still obviously very mindful of the, the spike and the infection rate. We have seen a slight spike there, but we continue just to be mindful of the vulnerability of the community. And we don't want to become hotspots uh, of transmission in our communities. So just a reminder to join us for our electronic online services on a Sunday morning. We have our 8 a.m sermon service, our 8.30 children's service, and our 9 a.m. worship service. We also have our daily reflections that are sent out and other WhatsApp voice notes that are sent out in the various spaces within our circuit. So please, friends, do partake in those as we seek to continue to be a community of faith. With that said, I also want to thank those who 
who continue to give so generously into the life of our church at this time. Uh, your tithes and offerings go and sustain the work of the ministry as we seek to reach out to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world for healing and for transformation. They also go towards the maintaining of our church sites and the running of our facilities at this time. So I'd like to encourage you to continue to give. For those who have been giving, thank you. For those who are struggling to give electronically, please do reach out to your society stewards so that we can make arrangements to either collect your tithes for you or have them dropped off at specific locations so that they can be banked and obviously put, come into the church bank account. If you are able to give electronically, the banking details are within the description of our notices and I'd like to encourage you to use those. If you're joining us today and you're from another faith community, I'd like to encourage you to give into your faith community as we're encouraging our members to give in to our faith community in order to sustain the work of this, our church. Friends, if you'd like to give, please, if you're more than welcome to give into our church as well. But let us come to God in prayer as we lift up these gifts and the work of God through this church. So Father, we give you thanks and praise that you guide and direct us during this abnormal time. That as we battle and we are concerned in this COVID-19 world and begin to adapt to new normals that we find ourselves in, we ask that you would help us, that you would undergird us and that you would strengthen us as your church. Give us wisdom and direction as we seek to make our sites COVID-19 compliant and are mindful of, of your people and the worship that they need at this time. Help us to be a community of faith. But we also ask that you receive our giving, Almighty God, of our tithes, of our offerings as we give them to you this morning as we give them to you through the various means, electronic and through other forms of giving to the life of your church, that you would receive it, Almighty God, for the furtherment of your kingdom, as we seek to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world, through the pre preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ for healing and for transformation. So, Father, receive this now, we pray, for we ask it in your precious name, Jesus, now and always. Amen.